Installation part two, the lean-to and the mailbox. Today is dig some holes day. Although, there's plenty of rock to dig through. Got our new bucket, 10 inch bucket, fun. Welcome back. I'm just giving you a little update here on progress of the lean to off of the Connex, the shipping container. We've got our three posts set here, ready for some concrete. I was not able to dig down as far as I'd hoped, so I'm gonna put some pins in the ground or in the rock, drill in some pins, put some bags of concrete in there, and that will hold it amazingly. pinned to the rock beneath here. Pretty awesome. Nice little set up here. Right now we are braced, level, plumb, set, square. And then got the apron board. Let me come back here so you can see. Got the apron board. All the 24 feet here it'll be 36 eventually but I'm gonna leave this section off right here this last 12 feet so that uh, concrete trucks when they come in when they come in here they won't be hitting my post and taking down my lane too I'm gonna have room to get in there and get around to the back of the back of the house got a little bit of progress going on here All played up, setting in the rafters. This guy's gonna do all the work by himself.
ready for metal, but it is really windy out there. back out here at the farm and we're putting on metal on our lean-to. Two sheets on. You guys a quick look here. Oh yeah. How's it going? Buttoning up the lean to here. Putting in the last few screws. Looks pretty good. I'll get another video from down below here in a second. We are done with the lean to and the tractor fits. Had to move the bucket over, but no big deal. That'll work. Good morning, everybody. We're out here just staying in our new mailbox post. So we can put her in the ground. How's it going? Good. Don't think I need a like a cloth or something. Cloth. Yeah, so just wipe it. It'll soak in. It's a pretty dry post. Okay. I just don't want it to have streaks. Oh, that'll give it character. Give it that rustic look. <laughs> so, we're going to wipe it off like I suggested. It looks like you need to wipe it off. <laughs> I just had to got some rags for. I had to say that because you <laughs> said we didn't need to. I think it's the technique of how she's putting it on. <laughs> how should I put it on, Mister? Not so much. Oh, you know, you're doing a great job because I don't have to do it. <laughs> Anyways, here's some rags. <laughs> we are here with our mailbox stuff and Jesse is digging our hole mm -hmm. so then we can put this big thing in there because on the box it says extra large capacity I mean, look at this thing. It's humongous. And then on top of our post.
We got our mailbox done. Here's our neighbor's mailboxes. And then here's our mailbox. Jesse said he had to go big. So, he did. So, we are finished with it now. So for the mailbox, we had to install that quickly was because we needed something that we ordered had to get shipped to the same place that we put the mailing address as or yeah. our home address. So we had to get a mailbox put in pretty quickly. Which was hilarious because the day we were putting it up, we got mail, right? Yeah. We did. The mail lady brought the us mail. The mail lady brought us mail while we were putting up our mailbox. So we were like, almost. That was kind of close. That was kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this was informative for you. And that uh, we can keep posting videos for you guys on our updates of our house. And, and if there's anything you guys want to see that we haven't shown or... If you have any questions about things... Just drop it in the comments. And we'll answer them for you. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Say hello. I think you can fit in the mailbox, Felicity. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs>